Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Paula and I live in a small town in Brunswick, Canada with my husband and my 13 month old baby boy. I make videos about our life, uh, DIY projects, baby videos and other mom content. In this video, I will be unboxing the Maoman wood step stool or as I like to call it, our learning tower. I'm trying to have a Montessori approach to raising our baby, which to me means involving the baby in as many day-to-day -day activities as possible in order to foster independence from a young age. Since Levi started crawling and bringing himself up, he's been coming to the kitchen and pulling at my leg to see what I'm doing every time I do anything in the kitchen, like meal prepping or washing dishes. So when I learned about this tower, I knew that it would be perfect for us. And my amazing mother-in-law gifted us this um, learning tower for Levi's birthday. I saw a lot of people using a makeshift tower or doing a DIY. And I used a stepladder at first just to see if Levi would like it. So let's get to it. We got this tower from Amazon. I will link the product in my description. We chose the gray option, but it comes in black or pink as well. The package felt heavy when it arrived and I could tell after opening it that it was a sturdy and solid tower. It came with all the screws and easy step-by-step -step instructions. The tower has three adjustable levels. I believe this can be used for many years and many activities like food prep, helping with dishes or brushing their teeth. The assembly was very easy and it took about 10 minutes. Our package was missing two parts that attached to the legs and we contacted the seller on Amazon who sent us the parts in the mail. I find these pieces didn't affect the stability of the tower. These are the instructions and these are the two pieces we were missing when we first got the package. They go right there on the bottom of the legs. The pros of the tower are being able to show your baby how food is made. I found that Levi eats better when he sees how his food is made. Fostering independence, sometimes I like to let Levi stir food in the pan or try to cut vegetables. Safety, it's a much better alternative than carrying the baby or putting him on the countertop. 
It keeps the baby entertained, which is especially helpful before meals when they are hungry and clingy. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright Sleep. Hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for. In life. I will say, this is a product that your baby has to get used to. At first, Levi didn't love it and still preferred being in my arms. But the more we used it, the more comfortable he became with it. Cons, it takes up space. Uh, not great for small kitchens. Uh, you already have to find storage for the high chair if you're using one. And this tower is particularly bulky and heavy. It weighs 23.6 pounds or almost 11 kilograms. In my experience, uh, we've been using it for a few months now and it's already so worth it. Some mornings when Levi is calm, he will sit with me through the whole meal prep for half hour or 45 minutes. And I just love that so much. You may wonder about safety when it comes to the baby being so close to the stove or a hot pan or around knives. But in my experience, if I clearly explain to Levi that the stove is hot or the knives are sharp and not to touch it, he won't touch it. Um, and he has always listened to me unless he got burned when I wasn't looking and I wouldn't know it because he didn't cry. Well, I would definitely recommend having a learning tower. Um, this one works great for us. Uh, like I said, it's a bit big and bulky. I'm not sure how it compares to other towers, but I found it so helpful for my family and I totally recommend it. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any experiences with the learning tower yourself. Let me know if you have any questions about it that I didn't answer. I might do a follow-up video in a few months after we've been using it for a longer time. We just got this one in January, so it's been about almost two months since we started using it. I hope you liked this video. Uh, subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.